the form of Christianity that we have in America right now from the people that hated us the most. They didn't want you on earth. Why would they give you, you, give you the key to heaven? They didn't want your black right here. Why would they take you wherever they at? That's a lie. And have white people ever acted like Jesus? They never were acted like Jesus. Where was all that when we were slaves? Where all that when they beating you? And you a lot of editing. It's just as bad if you a cop <laughs> sure, yeah. or you a preacher as it is being a gang member. It ain't no different. Or selling dope. At least you know what you're getting into. It ain't no lies. Okay. Um, <coughs> David Banner. <laughs> so what do you think about your uh, prayer partner? <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, what is this, a rant? This is the David so it's Banner. There's more to it. <laughs> We're okay. going to get into the other okay. okay. later. Okay. Um, I think I think that's where a lot of Atlanta um, Atlanta mindset has gone to. I think you know David Banner. I want to say he's from Mississippi. I know. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. I'm saying like he's um, okay. kind of start. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, it reminds me of Killer Mike, right? And Killer yeah, Mike when he partnered up yeah. with uh, the Black Bank here in Atlanta, yep. uh, Citizens Trust Bank, and then they pushed. They tried to push all black people to that bank and say like support our own support our own so to me it feels like yeah this is just one of those rants where people are starting to you know look back and say all right nobody's done anything for us let's do it for ourselves right and then they have this attitude of these are all the reasons let me tell you all the reasons why right um but no it sounds to me like he is trying to say like you know again this is the white man's religion what we fight up what we fight against all the time mm -hmm. um and uh yeah you just kind of have to um you have to look for jesus in people um, that have Jesus in their heart, and that's not everybody you see. So, yeah, man, he went from super friends <laughs> to I don't know that man. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll say this though: I've seen, I haven't heard music from David Banner in a while. Yeah. I've always seen him on like lecture circuits, and I know he does. I remember seeing something about a couple years ago where he got an interview where he's talked about he's doing stuff behind the scenes. But one thing that's interesting about him to me is I see him mostly now on inspirational faith-based movies mm. like a mm. lot of those That's so true. in my mind i'm like if you think this way why are you doing these movies if you feel that way like on some just being real like because i yeah. mean like I, I could tell if we were actors and actresses in there and people was like yo we got a movie about um hinduism or new age and stuff and you got to do this and you be like i don't believe in this i'm yeah, not gonna no, do it yeah. even if you did one why would you do a bunch of them? yeah right. like he does a lot of i would say inspirational faith-based type stuff yeah. so that's my thing i'm like but if you don't believe this then why, why so like tell them folks well, no does he does he not believe or is he saying that he's projecting his I think anger he believes, toward a particular race that they claim to be christian oh, you'll find out in a second yeah okay. yeah yeah you will <laughs> um I, I believe he doesn't believe in like i think he got enlightened mm -hmm. and i think he like, yo, I got enlightened. This is false. All this false, this white man stuff is false. And, you know, you got, basically. He has a God complex. He has, he, he has, a, he has an album called God complex. So he's not coming off as a, Israel, a Hebrew Israelite. It may be. It may be a mixture of all. But as of not, the white man is Christianity's religion. The white, the, you know what I mean? The white man's religion. So, Goodness. but I think he's new age too because he... And our next clip, he's going to break it down a little bit more about other stuff. But, yeah, it's like a mixture of black liberation meets new age. Right. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, let's just get to the next one. This is uh, this will answer some more of your questions. <laughs> they tell we, black okay. people you're going to hell, you're going to hell forever. Ever. Ever. So would you listen to David Banner, Black or Rich going to hell? <laughs> David Banner. And I'm David Banner. I don't blame you for not listening to me, but that's a lie. I ain't no hell. Like God know exactly the situations that we're in. We have lessons to learn, but even the fact that we think there's a devil. If you think God is omnipotent, duality is a lie. If God created the devil, why would you even speak of the devil even if the devil existed? See, the reason why they give you the devil is because you'll never admit that you the devil. So if you blame it on an outside entity, something outside of yourself, then you would never fix you. Mm -hmm. When I fixed me, my life changed. It wasn't no devil. It ain't these. It ain't none of that. Shit. It's me. I'm the problem. And even if it is somebody else, why would they stop? Why would they take their foot out your ass and they benefit <laughs> from you being fucked up? 
It's I'm you. Sorry, I'm you the devil. Doing. So until you realize that you the problem, you do. You know, devil. Mm. Mm. So what do you think now? <laughs> that's different. Um, yeah, that's definitely different. I mean, I think, um, I think, I think he doesn't know that he's kind of telling the truth. Like, I don't think he knows that that the enemy is something that um, that we wrestle with. Um, when you're saying that there's no hell, that that part is shocking to me. Right. But I mean, we are the problem until we get rid of our sin. We are the problem. You know what I'm saying? Until we, <coughs> until we um, confess, repent, and ask God to wash that away from us, you know? So I don't know if that's what he means. He doesn't. Think. He clearly doesn't. Yeah. Well, I, I know what you're saying. Like, I mean, when he was saying, like, until you, cl- until you fix yourself, you're always going to have that problem, right? I think that, yeah, if you continue down the path of sin, you're always going to have those problems that, that hold you back from being who God called you I to be. I told y'all he got a God complex. So yeah, he's yeah. saying, once I got myself right there you go. and I realized I was enlightened, I was the problem. Now I'm not the problem anymore. Right. So I got to mm. show everybody else that you are the problem. Get out your own way. There's no God. There's no hell. Right. There's none no, of this stuff they're God. saying. There's no devil. You're the devil. Until you become righteous, and, and you get enlightened been in faith based films? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 There's a couple of them. Because I think it was one with um I think I forgot it was uh Romeo or whatever. He was yeah. in, he was a main character in there. But I think with David Banner you see a cascade of hurt. Uh, the whole conversation yeah. is hurt. The whole conversation is di- disappointment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the biggest piece of it where we have to be careful is that everything David Banner said was an opinion. Yeah. And mm-hmm. he's saying, forget people's opinion, but he's giving you his. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so the reality is we have to watch what we do. On, like in those platforms, all you hear is anger, frustration. Yeah. Because he started off with the white man. He started off with hate, a conversation mm-hmm. of hate, right? Yeah. Um, and, and then the God complex comes in until I fix yeah. myself. This is when things yeah. shifted. Yeah. But if we, if we learn how to have conversations with people and say let's pull back the bible and let's go to right here let's Mm -hmm. start here that's when we have really vital strong conversations because right now we live in a world where all this goes real quick everybody's in the moment you hyped up you saying what you think and then probably when dave goes back and and, and maybe watches a few was like maybe maybe i should have and they do that a lot a lot of people come on platforms and they're like hey can you scrap that last interview yeah. Because you're in your emotions and people catch wave of that. Yeah. And that person who's trying to decide if I want to go to church or I want to be a believer or not, you got, oh boy. Yeah. And mm-hmm. that's going to shift really quickly. And what he's saying is not truth. Mm-hmm. Period. Yeah. 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 I see what you're saying. But he's not, he's not, he's not telling people all the way like what Correct. he believes. So yeah. you can't, you, it just sounds, it's almost itching ears. It sounds good, especially if I'm an African American. Yeah. As a black person, it's like, that sounds great. Yes. They, they're holding us back. Yes. 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 But you never tell them where you're taking them right, into. Right. You know what I mean? So, big. You know That's what big mean? right there. Yeah, because the, the race was the trigger. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. was the trigger to get you pulled in. Yeah. And then to mm. your point, he really didn't guide you anywhere. He didn't yeah. give you anything to really say, well, what's what's after this? What's yeah. next? Yeah. It's just, I fixed myself. Well, how did you fix yourself? What did you do? Did you go to church? Did you fast? Did you pray? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I agree with you on that one. Yeah, just the idea of fixing yourself is starting at the wrong place. You're not fixing yourself. When when you when you surrender your life to Christ, you're allowing him to fix you. Yeah. You know what yes. I mean? So it's not you doing anything. That, you know what I mean? So yeah. um, I think that's that's just a wrong attitude. And his his idea of, you know, the problem was, is within you is partially correct, but mm-hmm. you can't ignore the fact that there is an accuser. There is yeah. right. There is someone that is the antagonist to Satan and his misunderstanding. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of people have this misunderstanding is God did not create the devil. Right. He created an angel yes. that, that, that disobeyed him yeah. and thought he could be God yeah. just like you're trying to be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there we yeah. go. You know what I'm yeah. He, saw, he saw the glory God was getting and was yeah. like, I want that. Yeah. Just like you want what you want. Exactly. So you yeah. have you have the free will to make that same decision. And that's what a lot of people make is that I am God. Yeah. I deserve the glory yeah. for myself. Yeah. I don't have to bow down to to the Father mm. who created me. Yeah. yeah. That's what this this is what the whole thing is about. This is what yeah. the story is about. Yeah. Yeah. I feel it's, like is God yeah. God or is he not? Or can yeah. you be God? Mm. And yeah. the, the answer at the end of the story, if you flip all the way to the back, no, you can't. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Right. That's it. Right. I feel like celebrities get to that point where like there's no like there's no other no other higher you know fame or not- notoriety than being a celebrity right or being famous Feels so like glory, yeah. so you get yeah. to this point where you're like well what's next oh let me feel like i'm god let me am, i must be you know if all these people are coming to my shows all these people are buying my albums but listening to every word i say then i must be 
better than anybody else on, on another But to platform. be fair, in this clip, he's not saying that. So no. you're, you're, you're pulling in outside stuff. In this clip, his only point is, because he says God, so we, yeah. don't know, we know mm-hmm. more about what he feels than, than what this clip says. But in this clip alone, he's not saying anything about God. He's more yeah. so saying yeah. about the devil. So yeah. what do you think about his assertion that there is no devil and that this is all just something you have to fix? Because there's a lot of people who believe this. Yeah, I mean, it, once you fix it, once you fix yourself, then what? Like, are you just, then you make your own rules? You know what I'm saying? That's like, what, so so when, when you, that's what I'm saying. Like, you didn't leave nobody nowhere. So if if I'm saying there's no devil, I fix myself, then I'm walking in what? Were well, you walking in righteousness? You walking in your own form of righteousness, your own form of godliness? Mm-hmm. Like, what are you doing? That now are you sinless? Since you fix yourself, are you sinless? You probably think so now. I mean, problems are still gonna happen, right? He's still gonna go through trial and tribulation and things like that. He's still gonna lose loved ones. He's still gonna have accidents right. and you know things like that. So, to me, I think he's just like he's in a temporary place. It's almost like a it's almost like a high. Yeah, you know, you're gonna come but, off that high and you're still gonna have those same problems. Yeah, he's in a part. He's in but a here's point my right question: is is um. Is these corporations willing to give people money? Because he does stuff for corporations. He does like um, music, like background music. You know how what Trayvon does for like a lot of he does that. Like he gives music, gives them music so they can do their commercials, like documentaries or whatever. In my mind, I'm like, if I was an executive and I'm hearing him talk, and I'm like, why are we giving this dude? But why? Why? If you're just a random executive, it wouldn't matter. Why would they care about this? No, but what I'm saying is based off of your company, your company's values. If you're inclusive, like you're no. saying you're inclusive and all this other you're stuff. You're talking about the last clip. Yeah. So you, what's, what in this oh, clip? Oh, okay, okay. Right. Okay. Well, I think the falseness of it is that people, a lot of people believe hell doesn't exist. A lot of people believe hell is on earth. We're yeah. living through hell. That's yeah. what they believe. I've yeah. heard people say They don't that. believe in yeah. an afterlife. They believe this is, you You may die. Some people believe in reincarnation. Some people believe in so uh, different things. There's going to be a theme today. We, You know, we've been doing themes recently. <laughs> theme of the day is, if you don't believe in the source of your belief, then why believe it at all? Like, it, the, mm. all your language is coming from the Bible. Yeah. But you're making conclusions that are not in the Bible. Mm-hmm. Why believe it at all if you're not going to yeah. believe the Bible? The Bible says there's a there's a Satan. It says there's a hell. Right. Yeah. It says that God is God and Wait, God alone. Well, Why would you deviate from something if if you don't like it? Then scrap all of it. Why take any? Well, of it? you're warning people from it. That's what he's trying to do. He's warning people like scrap it, like you just said. Don't. Don't subscribe to this at all. This is falsehood. So he's saying don't why read the Bible. You, but why but why would he still use the language? Because why, he why knows still, you, me, so you think all of us know. intentionally trying to unchristian people. Yeah. Mm. Especially black people. I think you had uh, here goes you, he's leaning to his own understanding one. So yeah. you, you so here's the thing about just us in the black church. You grow up in the black church and we have to also acknowledge there's traditionalism in black church, yeah. right? There's yeah. legalism in black church. Yeah. And so I hear him and some of what he's trying to get at is the legalism thoughts, the things of traditionalism, right? Yeah. That you yeah. would hope, but then he's adding the the race card in the mm-hmm. fact. So right now you got a melting pot of thoughts um, and really no clear point, right? And then the question does become, what do you really believe? Yeah. And when you meet African Americans who have really, you know, leveled up, they again go to that God complex and now you're taking in so much stuff. And so now what he did in that comment about there's no hell and hell is, you know, you are the problem and all these things is he's leaned fully into his own understanding. Mm, yeah. And so then what's going to happen is when to your point, life happens, yeah. when things get tough, because just because you're not, if I'm all together, it does not mean that I can't go down the street and somebody just shoot me just because. Yeah. Right. Stuff is going to happen to yeah. you. And if you're not grounded in the word, you can forget it. Yeah. So, so the reality is, yeah. You might have fixed yourself, my brother, but when things happen, who are you running to? Yeah. Mm. That's going to be. You, you make your, your God, you make your own stuff. And then when tragedy happens and stuff happens, you go, see, God ain't going to do that. But you're God. 
People do that all the time, mm. though, because you'll see somebody say, well, I don't believe in God. But when things happen in the world, the first conversation they say, well, why, why God let it happen? Yeah. I thought you didn't believe, brother. Yeah. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you didn't. What you talking about? Who, who, yeah. who's, who is yeah. we talking about today with you? So, you know, that 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 is leaning into where Dave is at yeah. right now. And like yeah. I said, you can hear the trauma. You can hear the hurt. You can hear yeah. the pain. I got to interview him. What it was um, when uh, Anthony Hamilton opened up his restaurant here. Mm -hmm. And we were just talking about food source for the black community. So he's very, you know, engaged yeah. with the community. Yeah. He does want to yeah. see uh, the african-american community do well but then we gotta get to the point of what we're talking about which is people's souls yeah. and you taking a charge in that you yeah. know what i'm saying yeah. with your understanding and your heart leading the way yeah and you should just be like look i went through some things i had to work on myself but i'm gonna tell you i just read the good book if that's what he subscribes to, in. Yeah. It subscribes yeah. to yeah. right yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. i've seen death separate people from god yeah. and i've had a friend tell me like i was believing in god until I asked him to save my grandmother and he didn't. And mm. I, I was done with him at that point. Yeah. I was like, wow. But his trauma may be just the effects of seeing the history of black people get yeah. taught. Taught and then seeing black people get beat by Correct. white people who said they love Jesus. That's what it was. That, that was the beginning what, yeah. clip. For sure. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. so that's his his theory has come to all his theory has come to that conclusion to the point where he's now at the point like, this is all false. Because I've seen it and Jesus ain't come. So there's a warning. Like, there's a warning for two people here. There's a warning for the David Manor type people who yeah. try to to try to throw away God because people misuse God. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But then there's also a warning to us to never misuse God because if you do, <laughs> you could turn people away from yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You can't all these pastors mm. getting caught in sin and all this yeah, nonsense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You are actively turning people away from God because they're gonna use your story mm -hmm. yeah. as yeah. a reason why they don't but believe. I think yeah. I think the good conversation even dealing with all that is that people got to start saying the, yes there's a standard for pastors there's a standard of leadership and everything but we're, we're still flawed people. We're right. still we still have an understanding of Yes, God, we're being used by you. Yes, God, we obey you. But sometimes um, if I'm not strong enough or I'm not, am, am I, if I'm trusting my flesh more than I'm trusting you, I can make a mistake. Their problem sure. is a mistake for you is it's, it's the same as the dude that's whack. And, that, and we, got, we always come back to that conversation of how, did, how does the world, because the world doesn't see it as my man fell. He taking some time off. Yeah. He's going to get right. Everything's going to come out versus that dude who, like you said, is a wolf that needs to just be gone from the church period. They see it as they're together. They don't mm. see it a difference. Mm. You get what I mean? They yeah. see it as these Christians are fake because this dude fell and this dude is a wolf and he's and he's doing stuff in his church. But, you know, I always bring up to people like when when it when God comes back, all that of what you see and others do, you can't yes. grab your past and be like, because, you know, uh, Pastor Facts. so and so. This is why I should get into heaven, Lord, you know, because so and so or, hey, God, you know, I know I was on my way to hell, but let's bring Shaniqua because Shaniqua is the one who made me mad. And this yeah. is why I did such and such. And, and that's mm -hmm. why you have to read your word. That is why you have to have your relationship with Christ. Yes. You have to read yeah. because the Bible tells us people will fall short yeah. and it also tells us that the pastor they got a bigger charge on their life than the center and, 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 and regular Douglas yeah. all right yeah. so so yeah. then for that pastor he has to be at a particular yeah. standard yes. yeah because because the thing is your life is going to be charged a lot different my friend and the issue is social media everybody want to be seen and heard and the, the safe place to say I'm a pastor and just mm. show up on stage and you forgot what God is charging you when you said you was going to take that yeah. cloth you feel yeah. me 